Yeah, so have you ever made paper? No, never. Oh, well, you no. must make some sheets of paper. I would love to. Take a few sheets and do something with them on your own. I would love to. Being an artist like you are and all. My friend Mark Callahan makes hoon paper, which is made from plants. He lives in the Yucatan Peninsula, and his paper is absolutely amazing. And their paper combines the Oriental and the ancient Maya techniques. This is the um, recycled pulp that we use for paper making. It's, uh, as I mentioned earlier, it's made from the um, San Siviera plant. It has to be absolutely renewable in its uh, resource paper. I mean, the, from the plant, and it, it can't damage nature. So those are the requirements for making our paper. Now there's a vertical and horizontal movement when you make handmade paper. It's really important to interlock the fine fibers so that it has a strength going in both directions. Mark has been living in the Yucatan Peninsula studying and learning the ancient ways of the Mayan paper making for many years, has changed his life and studied and used different materials from all over the peninsula. And his handmade paper is used mm -hmm. in so many different ways. This cross hatching design here. And this is cross hatching with a little hole in the center, like, like a pineapple. This is the other one that has a very, very fine, straight lined parallel shape with grooves. And the other side has other deeper grooves. I filled it in with wax because we'd make um, molds from these to reproduce this in, in uh, uh, cement. And this side has to be flat for some of our models. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we take the texture off of the flat stone later. Hmm. So, uh, yeah. Try this one out. You name it, we made paper out of it. Every conceivable plant or um, tree bark I made paper out of here. Banana fiber. Of course, we use a lot of banana fiber still, off and on. This keeps the flattening uh, dispersed in a regular pattern. So this was the basic paper making machine of the past. I mean, well, the, the human being, the hand of the human, and, and the Mayan and this. And they would use this paper for sacred documents. And oh yes. That was the means of the communication and preservation. Preservation. Uh, before this, it was they only used. Um, clay, painted clay vessels, and mm -hmm. stone, carved Ages. stone. So the difference between what you could put in a carved stone wall and this, and, and the amount of time required was enormous. So it was this extreme revolution when they developed paper making. It was a revolution in, in technology, just like computers are for us today. Mm -hmm. uh, part of what we attempt to do is to um, will make this in a responsible way that is ecologically made with renewable resources and show other people what this means uh, and how it, it suggested to other people to think about using renewable resources and things they consume or things they make if they're, if they're producers. So to me it's always been very important to think about raw material, where it comes from, what's going to happen to it, you know, and recycling is very important too. So the bits of pieces of paper that are left over in our product making here in the shop, we recycle in another shop into other types of paper, like plant, um, like um, lamp papers. We'll, we'll make some traditional Mayan hoon paper too that is made directly from the inner bark of the ficus trees um, shortly. We'll do some of that too. Okay. Mark Callahan is also an amazing artist that does a lot of work not only making paper but using it as a medium within his art.